Three men held two illegal firearms seized in attempted murder at primary school. Don't no move, don't no move, don't no move, don't no move! Don't no move, driver! Don't no move! Driver, don't no move! Come down! Quick action by the police on Thursday thwarted a murder attempt at the Friendship Primary School in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Three men were arrested and two illegal firearms recovered during the incident which occurred on the school compound where parents and children were gathered. Ratings TV understands that a motor car was being chilled and the driver diverted to the school compound and the police alerted. The men reportedly followed the car onto the school premises when they were held by the police's quick response team. Head of the St. Catherine North Police Division, Senior Superintendent Howard Chambers confirmed the incident. Head of the Crime Portfolio, Deputy Superintendent of Police Fitz Bailey said the action of the police was to advert the murder of a male who was marked for death by men aligned to the Tesha Miller faction of the Klansman gang. The police said one of the men arrested today was charged two to three years ago in Clarendon in relation to a double murder and was out on bail, DCP Bailey, during a post this afternoon on the JCF social media platforms also said the would-be killers were intended to create mayhem, panic and fear among the school population. The investigation is ongoing. As a JCF intensify its effort in Operation Relentless 2. Three men were held by the police at a primary school in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, and two firearms recovered. The action of the police was to avert the murder of a male who was marked for death by men aligned to the Tesha Miller faction of the Klansman gang. One of the men that was held was arrested about two to three years ago in Clarendon in relation to a double murder and is out on bail. Not only were the men intended to commit murder, but their intention was to create mayhem, panic, and fear among the school population. They were not concerned about the psychological impact on the student that their action would have created. The JCF has been very consistent in saying that the type of crimes that we are seeing are not ordinary. And when we have extraordinary situation, there's a need for extraordinary response. These type of crime cannot be seen as the normal routine criminal activities that are being perpetrated by criminals. This is organized crime. This is crime to cause the population to retreat and to surrender. The JCF is committed to pursue these type of individuals who are willing to hurt and harm our children and law-abiding citizens in this country. Yesterday, one of St. James' most wanted person, O'Shane Hurl, otherwise called Mutumba, was fatally shot by police in that Peppers, St. Elizabeth. Mutumba was a very violent individual. He is wanted in seven cases of murder, three cases of robbery. His person of, he was a person of interest in several other gun-related and violent crime in St. James. Again, I will reinforce the point that what we are seeing is not normal and the appropriate response must be given when there are instances of abnormality. The JCF will not retreat and I want to issue a warning to those criminal elements who are willing to create problem in our society. The JCF men and women are well trained. And if when you are called upon to surrender, you refuse to surrender and you challenge our officers, we will 
and they will use their superior training to repel any threat that they are faced with. I am confident and the JCF is confident in the ability of the men and women who are on the front line, who risk their life every day. We are confident that when they encounter danger, they will be able to defend themselves because they are well trained. We appeal to the public to continue to give us your support. Your support in the fight against crime. JCF is just one entity in this fight to secure our nation. And that combined effort, that combined support, that partnership is necessary to create the Jamaica that all of us deserve so that our children and our grandchildren can live in a better society. We will be relentless in our effort to bring, and I consider them as being evilous people into custody. And as I said before, if you challenge the police, we will use our superior training to repel whatever threat you pose.